Hello gamers, it is Larson here, and today I want to show you keyboards made for the Wii. There's two that I'm going to show off. Actually, I have three here. They're all Logitech. So, this is the Logitech Classic Keyboard 200. It's basically back in the Wii era, Logitech and Nintendo partnered up and said that within a Wii system update, the Logitech Classic Keyboard 200 specifically would be compatible with the Wii. But Logitech also made it further, and they also made, in many regions, a Logitech cordless keyboard for Wii. Um, in Japan, they, um, they ha had sold it under a name called Logical, because, um, like C-O-O-L, um, because they, probably because of a trademark dispute. So I'm going to show this off. I'm going to add someone here. I'm gonna add, ah, what the hell? Yeah, I was unplugging my ethernet. That's why it gave an error. Yeah, probably a good point in, that thing just flashed, what the hell? Okay. Let's try to. I'm going to send a message to Henry, you know, the one that makes videos on the channel with me. Um, see, Alt and Enter, Turn, is basically the OK button to, like, press OK. It just... It's just a quick shortcut. There's a couple other ones that I can't remember. F4 does toggle the dictionary. Well, by the way, since I'm doing a keyboard related video, I might as well show you. This is how you're supposed to use a keyboard. It's like a phone. Um, so what's a word? How about, how about um, H-O-W? See, you type it like a phone, but you need this turned on I never knew how to do this as a kid. If you don't, then you have to type it out like every letter. Also, if you want to use French or Spanish, you can use that. And symbols are right here. So, that's a pretty nifty keyboard. The only drawback is that it's wireless. I mean, this is meant to be a Windows keyboard, but I bought this on eBay for like, I don't know, like 10 bucks. Pretty solid keyboard. And also on the Wii, for Wii developers, they told you if you wanted your game to pass the keyboard check requirement, if it uses a keyboard. I, um, they told you to either use a Logitech cordless keyboard for Wii or the Logitech Classic Keyboard 200. I don't know why they called it classic. I mean, how is it classic? It's just a regular keyboard. Anyway. So, let me show you the cordless keyboard for Wii. Um, there are buttons to for the internet channel to zoom in and out, or they're just a quicker way to press plus and minus. There are left and right buttons, I guess, that are bigger enough than these. I haven't figured out how to access the blue keys. If you want to tell me how to do that, just please respond. The Dell key is for... Actually, I don't know what the Dell key is for, if it doesn't delete anything. But also, I like its features. Like, it's, it's wireless. It blends within your Wii interface. And I've showed it in other videos. And you can just press OK there. The problem is if you buy this one on eBay, I... It just... A lot of them don't come with a dongle. So, um... You want to make sure you get one with a dongle or else it's useless. And by the way, it has a handy little compartment back here to store it in. The dongle I have is right here. And it's blinking... I don't think I ever noticed that. It blinks right here when I'm pressing stuff, you see? Which is cool. 
So it's a button to repair it, I think. Sometimes, sometimes keyboard presses are a bit delayed. Like if there's something obstructing this, it won't display. But pretty good keyboard. I like it, but they're a bit expensive if you can. So most of you won't care for like a keyboard like that. Well, the reason why you want to, want to use a keyboard on the Wii is for the sending messages with the Wii message board. Animal Crossing Wii also uses it. And I think Monster Hunter Tribe might use it. Unfortunately, they didn't make a game like the awesome Typing on the Dead Dreamcast game, but even some Wii Homebrew uses it. For example, I'll, how about I demonstrate that and then I'll show you the internet channel. The Nintendo channel also uses it to search names for titles. So Wii Explore does let you use one and Wii MC, I believe, does. Um, let's try with a cordless one. Um, we well, it certainly isn't working here, but I know we explore does let you use it. I thought that it let you use on here. Also, that's a nasty mark. I don't know what happened. Maybe I stepped on it with my shoe. <laughs> it looks like a shoe mark. Nasty. So let's see if I want to change the boot.doll file. I can... I can control that. But the LK button doesn't work because after all, it's a homebrew app and homebrew apps don't do it like Nintendo do. They do what Nintendo don't. Just like playing GameCube games on a Wii U. Nintendo underuse their hardware. Okay, let's go to the um, internet channel. I'll just show that off real quick. There are, the cool thing about the internet channel is, well, if you find a site that actually works on the internet channel, it's good because you can play Flash games with it. Like using your remote as your mouse and the keyboard as, well, the keyboard. Should also work if you flash inject the keyboard. I mean, uh, there, it, I figured out a shitty game called Back to Nature. Works on, um, to, and we can inject your own flash games into it. You can also do it with the YouTube app. So, um, you can make your own vir a la virtual console injects with that. There's a tutorial on GBA temp if you're interested. But no favorites, that sucks. See, I, I love having to press okay and not have to get, go here and then point and all that stuff. But I bet none of these sites work. I mean, Wii.com is dead. <laughs> it's always frustrating using the internet channel on here anymore, but it makes me sad. This site will be on, if you use our DNS, I mean, Reconnect 24's DNS, not ours anymore. Um, it will let you access the bookmark page. We also have a cool things going for it. Like, like if you go to the recommended sites tab on your internet channel, it will redirect to our little website that lets you search some things. I haven't showed these yet, but it's possible there's an AccuWeather site that I found that is really old and might be deprecated one day. Well, I don't know why it's not loading the CSS because it looks like crap now. But I, I guess the associated press RSS feed will work. Wow. Yeah, there we go. I just need to remove HTTPS. I'll get right on that. I'll, um, how to stay healthy during COVID flu. So it's like a watered down news channel. I mean, it's not as good as a news channel. If you think that the news channel sucks because it's, you can get your news anywhere, you're clearly wrong. But anyway, this works pretty nicely. I'll have to check on the AccuWeather thing. But anyway, um, if you want to use 
This cross is kind of broken, by the way, so use it as your own risk. This is a cool thing, the drum kit. It's a flash app that I figured out. It went down, but I posted an archive.org link that loads up. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for a keyboard, I mean, if you have some money, you should go for the Logitech Coreless keyboard. But if you don't, you can buy this Logitech K400 Plus on Amazon for about $25. It's a compact keyboard. I'm not showing it on this video because, um, because it's, it's giving me technical difficulties, but it, anything with a USB port can technically use it because it, it uses wireless infrared or whatever to transmit the signal. And I don't know what's happening, but. Oh, there we go. It took forever to load that. But yeah, this is like $25 on Amazon. You can get it, or I think they even sell it at Best Buy, maybe even Walmart or wherever you are overseas because it's also in Europe. Maybe even Japan. My dad got this keyboard for me a while, long time ago, and I showed it off in other videos because he, um, because it was a Christmas present, so I could use it with my Raspberry Pi, which I don't have a setup. I just use it for Dream Pi now, for whenever I want to go online with Dreamcast. Um, but yeah, it has a mouse attached to the thing. I mean, it's not the most comfortable keyboard because the key, keys are kind of cramped, but it works pretty well. Also the quit button, hold on, oops. I thought it displayed an animation when you press something, I guess not. It's like a little drum kit that you can, I guess you can make your own beats with a keyboard. So I can send it to my friend. We'll send it to Henry. The reason why it says Nick on my contacts. Uh, hello? Even with the internet channel can be kind of crappy sometimes. Well, Lisa reloaded. Oops. Wow, the, the, maybe Google messed up. One of their certificates is expired? Nah. Also shut up, you just said that. That was a bit quick to react. Look at this. I can press quit there and it will quit the prompt. It displays a very nice and well animated animation for sending. It's definitely not laggy at all. I'm feeling lucky. Someone once said that they thought that button was for sweepstakes. You could get, you could get involved in sweepstakes if you press that. <laughs> well, if you don't know what the I'm feeling lucky button, wow, this has been there for a long time. You could hover over it and change different things, but it would just be a... I always just use a Google search on my browser now, but I'm feeling lucky as supposed to um, take you to the first result. It's crazy how they never change the design at Google. I mean, they always have the Google Doodles, but... Oh yeah, also the Me channel will let you enter stuff for their keyboard, not like it's very useful. But the Everybody Vote channel let, won't let you use it as a keyboard. And I can't remember if they were planning to do it or they did and we use an older version of the Everybody Vote channel. I just don't understand. But maybe they weren't very inclined to make it easy to import it with the keyboard on the Wii because may I might be onto nothing when I'm saying this, but maybe they didn't want people to just 
too easily send gibberish or crap with a Wii? Or they already got a large influx of questions questions for suggestions. So I'm thinking they might have... Um, wanted to cut down on people just making quantity over quality requests, even though you can send one per day, again, to cut down on it. But that's pretty much it. So if you're looking for a keyboard, just go with a K400 Plus. I promise it works. It comes with a little cheeklet size dongle. And if you don't know what a cheeklet is, it's like this little gum that loses its flavor in seconds. Um, and it's like size of this big. So, it's like a little square. Also, these keyboards should also work on the Wii U and Switch. I never tried it on the Wii U, but it should definitely work on the Switch. I mean, so it's like a versatile keyboard. It'll work on your Wii, it'll work on your Wii U, and it'll work on your Switch. The GameCube uses something different entirely for the five games it uses, it, like Fantasy Star Online. Um, and the Dreamcast uses its own thing. That's why I have a Dreamcast keyboard over here. The Dreamcast does have an adapter on a really suspicious looking site, like to, to put a keyboard and mouse in that are USB powered, but I wouldn't try that. So anyway, that's my video. So thank you for watching. Good luck finding a keyboard to use if you're looking for one. I have made videos on this before, but finally I got the classic keyboard 200. It was like $10 on eBay. Okay, bye.